So now we have a critical mission as in this kind of burger look. palace. You know we've had the same great taste since the occupation. But how? Our consent decree with the Global Truth and Reconciliation Commission is quite clear in its restrictions. And we agree. It was time for a change. So we partnered with Food Life to find the closest match. But not too close. This way we can still give you what you want without breaking the law. Burger <laughs> Palace. New name, new formula, same great taste. Bro, the the Burger Palace place sounds like the equivalent of McDonald's and then all the other like terrible fast food places. Okay. Axiom's new ability definitely looks cool. I'm gonna play around with that either the second time or third time I play through this game, but uh, I'll do it as many times as I want to, honestly. Will I record every time? Maybe, depends. But we'll see. I probably should have got breach explosives, but I kind of wanted to see what the android did. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, let's actually. We can look at that too. Alright. So this is going to end Grey Phoenix right here. Yes, we're ready to go. Um, almost hit launch on accident. It makes items available. You get the... Actually, Bubble Weave. Not the Bubble Weave. The Region Weave will probably work better for you. And then we'll give you a Medi Patch. Because you almost never lead through an entrance. Overdrive Serum for sure. And... Target, target ally gains two actions immediately. Does not affect target's cooldown. Will this be useful for her? I don't think so. I think we'll do an incendiary grenade, actually. She's going to hold the overdrive for herself. She can use that at the start of her turn to increase her range on stuff. And then the armor will keep her safe for wherever she goes. So I'll probably start doing that before I use the uh, crowd control ability. Right, that's what it's called. Yeah, crowd control ability. So that's her setup. You have extra. I'm going to stitch you up next. I want you to have the Motile Inducer, is what it's called, right? Hang on. Yeah, Motile Inducer. Because you have the extra space to hold it. Then we'll give you the. We'll give you Venom Rounds, and because you also get an advanced stock. So that might apply the three. Um, the three damage that it's supposed to, but I'm not sure. We'll give you a superior scope too, and hopefully you'll stop missing shots as frequently as you do. Uh, the bubble weave will be useful for you. That way if you die, you'll bubble weave automatically triggers when the agent carrying reach. Instead of bleeding out, the agent will be placed in stasis until the start of their turn. Yeah, that can keep you alive and in the mission, and then when you come back on your turn, you'll be able to use a... Um, use the yeah, healing ability on yourself, which... At that, we're also gonna give you a nano med kit. Godmother also gets a nano med kit. Do I give her an explosive? Someone's gonna need AP rounds, and it's definitely gonna be her. So we'll give you the AP rounds then. That way you can shoot straight through. You get the exper exterior superior expanded magazine, and. Do we give you a scope or a stock? A stock guarantees that damage. Yeah. Do you have an auto loader? Advanced stock. Superior. An auto loader would have been nice to get for her. I probably should have been trying to get that. Didn't think about it though. She wasn't on the team as much. I guess we'll give you the, the scope then. And you can get, you can just get extra padding. I think. Yeah, you can just get extra padding. You can get a breach charge. You have a medi patch, hollow scanner, medi patch, breach charge, medi patch. We don't have any hollow scanners. You have an ability to let you use a medi patch, so we'll give you. Wait. What did I say we didn't have? We have a medi patch, breach charge. You have a hollow scanner. I don't know what I was just saying. Alright, let's go. Should I get this ready? Maybe so. Oop. Yeah, see. Good thing I checked that, actually. 
We have another thing for you. Grants the chain shot ability. Right now we have the, what is this one grant? This grants the hail of bullets ability. Hail of, where is it at? Hail of bullets. Unleashes a hail of bullets that is guaranteed to hit your target, but uses a lot of ammunition. And let's see what this does. Chain shot. Take a shot with an aim penalty of 15. If you hit the target, you take another shot on the target automatically. Chain shot has three turn cooldown. Then this one is better because if we miss with that first shot, this guarantees a hit. The first one is if you hit, you can get a second one. All right. Good thing we stopped to check that. And we have no others, do we? Fortunate Blossom. What does this one get? This one gets banished. Fire the target until you turn out, until you run out of ammo. And this one is cereal. I like cereal better because we spread the damage out pretty well. I don't know. Gray Phoenix already fueled this starship. It's about to join its sister ships outside. A formation of starships could do a lot of damage to City 31. Keep it from launching. All right, so they're getting a little bit dangerous and extreme out here. All right. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at these two. First unit through this entrance will be rooted for one turn. If we send in Verge first, we will be fine here. But do we have a reason to risk all that damage? I don't know. I feel like we're, we're fine here. Yeah, I feel like we're fine here. Time to a ceasefire grenade would have been nice at this. Our ceasefire bomb probably would have been nice at this entrance, too. A Praetorian that's also aggressive, or a Dominator that's aggressive. We'll lift the Praetorian. No, we can lift the Dominator, too. I think I want to lift the Praetorian. Is this Godmother? She can do 68 damage, 6 to 8 damage on them right now. Or you can almost take them out. Let's do this one. AP rounds went straight through. 75% chance on them. We're gonna take that shot. Cool, they're out of the way. And now since we have a bonus, oh, we don't have any bonuses because Zephyr came through last. But we're, send, we're still gonna send Zephyr all the way in here. Hopefully we're gonna apply some type of effect on them. I don't think that attack does actually, so should have known that. He did get in a good position to be rooted for one turn, which is what I was expecting, so that's why we're fine with it. You can start taking control of people's minds from here. And is that a berserker I just saw? If it is. Get to that console, they'll launch the ship. You're running for it, and the paladin is running for it. How many encounters do we have? I think it's probably three, right? Use battle madness on them we can't see them okay but then we'll use use battle madness on this python your frustration. As long as it isn't us. it's not bad and it's shredded armor too so that was free damage pretty much and if we can see the number, fuck, is it two, three? We can't see the number three, which is what I want to hit, actually. But we can put them in a stupor Your also. Mind falls away. Give me a two? No, okay. That was weird. Not Who's going to take a shot concern. on? Zephyr, I guess. That's, I that shouldn't have been possible. I'm not going to lie. That doesn't even make sense. Damn. Hello? Oh, I guess they all have to get there. I was finna say, how am I supposed to stop that shit? It, yeah, this man's finna feel real sad though in a second. Um, we don't have anything else she can do. Yeah, okay, we'll just use Vanillae from here. Man, they finna be pissed. Imagine making it to your goal, then cross the way you get shot three times by a shotgun. Hostile. Can't even have an open cast casket funeral after that either. Activated duel on her. She tried. He tried to move. Sit your ass down. Oh. Are they gonna go back and forth swinging on each other? No oh. Hopefully his arm ain't long enough to hit everyone here. 
and a miss. That's not bad at all. It is poorly aimed. All right. Yeah, we should probably do this. Cause that berserker is right next to her also. Wait for it. Now. Um I'll drop an incendiary on them. Throwing grenade. That way they'll be on fire and continuously burning. Plus the shredded armor won't do anything. Okay. Then we'll have you. We shouldn't activate Reaper because you won't die. Should I? I don't think I should. I'll put it like this though. I was going to say, should I use the. Fast as what I is can. that? The Overdrive Serum. I don't think I need to use that yet. Back. Okay, they're disorientated, disorientated, and they're rooted. So they're going to be stuck in that fire the whole time. And we use Parry now. And then we'll use, actually, we'll use Cooperate. Where's Cooperate at? Or is that, no, I didn't just use Cooperate. I used that uh, thing. Oh, duh. Forgot to be a yellow thing. Use Cooperate right now. And we'll use Crippling Blow on you. Disabled. I'm trying to get it rooted so I don't have to worry about it making that dash to the um, exit. And now you can take a shot on, I don't know what round she has anymore. Let's take a shot on the face of this though. It's too close to us to leave unscathed, poison, okay. Disorientated, got a kick off from her, parried it, all right, cool. And then berserk removed. They're going to... Ooh, she parries everything that's going to hit her. Okay, I thought it was always only one. I never uh, actually saw that to know. I'm going to use a Reaper here. Is this a one step? It's a four turn cooldown also, so that's not bad. Banking the shots. And now we're going to use Crippling Blow on number two. Let me make sure it does it right. Splintering. Weapon disabled, they're taken out. Now I can use Reaper on number nine. Let's check and use it on anyone. There's no reason to take out that Praetorian right now. So I'm gonna do it on number nine from this angle. I can't remember what Duel does. I'm gonna turn the pack moving a little bit. And, oh, I forgot about this dude over here. And the Berserk is actually going to try and do something like that. Didn't expect that. Alright, who can we get with a Battle Madness now? Alright, then we're just going to use Stupor on you. Is this a once per turn or is this a cooldown? Once per mission. I think a Mind Flay is probably going to be better for us here then. Spread that damage out. They might burn to death on their turn too, also, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I guess he does have an angle on Zephyr now. Miss been a lot me. of misses in this round, so we're getting pretty lucky with that. Uh, it's still not their turn. Well, they they won't die. This this wouldn't die, right? Because it's gonna heal, or does it heal afterwards? Either way, I'm probably not gonna risk it because there's no point to. This will take the face this out. Hostile All right, subdued. they burn to death, so that's fine. Um, we'll get you right here and see what we can see now. Hundred percent chance on the berserker. We'll deal six to eight, and yeah. So, what else can we see? They're number three. Let's try and take them out, actually, because we're gonna get a turn first. Cool. Better you than me. Uh, so are you gonna move for the spot, or are you going to attack? All right. And we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put it right there in the entrance. That way, if that thing does come through, it's gonna get kicked. The Legionnaire. 
and then we'll put you in parry. We'll move Verge up to right here. And then, can we take a shot on them? We have an 80% chance to hit this shot. Or we can put them in a stupor. No, we already moved, right? So, then, I'll take the shot. That's pretty good. And they're burning now, too. I forgot about that. So, if he goes past the Zephyr at this point, he will die. He barely made it past. Damn, I forgot how far she can move, too. Oh, never mind. She wasn't as far back as I thought she was. We could have them switch. Yeah, we should have them switch just to make sure this thing goes down on this turn. And then Zephyr will be able to take that thing out for sure on her next turn. The, uh... The, um... Legionnaire. But we were able to take it out, so... Whoa. What was that cutscene of? I'm confused. Cause I thought we were going down or we thought we were trying to go up. Well, I figured out what that excavator is. Anyone care to guess? Something that digs? Close. During the invasion, the starport was a fleet transport ship. The excavator is the plasma drill beneath it. The excavator burned a big hole in the ground. The fleet transport landed and voila, prefab starport. If Grey Phoenix powers it, they could blow the whole starport sky high. So let's prevent that. Whoa. Grey Phoenix really had a means to blow some shit up, huh? Our units get plus 50 aim. Dodge during the breach. First unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land the shot. You steal plus one damage during the breach. Then we're gonna go for the secure one, especially since it gives us some extra dodge. So when we send Zephyr out, she'll be safer than a normal. Do we have two of those? If we have two of those, then yeah, I'll use it. Oh, she could use her uh, thing. She also has a medi patch as well. So then yeah, we'll go ahead and use this. That way we come into this next match uh, refreshed. Chimera Squad, we will soon depart this world. There is still time for you to leave our vessel. No chance. We're going to... And she cut the feed. I don't even know how he had a feed to them. Doesn't even make sense, honestly. But what I will say is I didn't expect them to uh, sound like that. No, not even sound like that. They look like a medic, actually, looking at them closer up. They look like a support character. Um, but what is it? Custodian or whatever? They're immune to poison. It's a python, it's a praetorian, it's a legionnaire. Let's go for the praetorian. We might be able to, I don't think it's using effect actually, so what I was trying to say doesn't make sense. Uh, we'll leave you be. We'll take a shot on them. Okay, it's fine I guess. That mother could take them the rest of the way out. Could take them the rest of the way out. We can spread some damage out here. But then we're gonna spread the damage out. Alright. Alright. Okay. Those those two are grouped up. Your hollow target is less not bad. That console. If you lower the force field, there's still time to stop the launch. Okay, see, this is why I want to make sure we had Zephyr, because she's really good at getting in and out. I replayed the, um, what, what was this one did we do before this? It wasn't Grey Phoenix. Um, cooperation on, not Godmother, on Zephyr. Uh, damn, what were they? Sacred Coil. The Sacred Coil mission without Zephyr was far more difficult. Ooh, I could cheat a little bit too and do it like that. Which one do we want to take out more though? That puts her that this, she'll do more damage over here, although she will be in danger of the um that faceless and the what is that, a paladin right there? Or a destroyer? 
But they're both rooted now, so you're stuck where you are. Interact with this, because this is the main thing we came to do. And then we'll put you in pit. It's too late. Actually, the launch has begun. Man, fuck it too late. Um, it's gonna be Zephyr's turn again after the number two and the number twelve. Where's the number three? Not number twelve. I'm in number three. Take a shot. On. On the number three. Critical hit and poison. They might die on their turn because of that. Just yeah, they're definitely dying on their turn. That's pretty good. I don't know where this paladin is. Do I? Oh, it's her turn. Cool, cool. That cooperation really came in handy. Interact. Like I said, fuck your launch. That's the last Legion I was talking about. I don't think he likes you. No, I, I kill him myself. <laughs> I Man, keep talking shit like that. Making little jokes. We out here risking our lives. We over here laughing. Hello? We'll, we'll do it from right Archery. here just to end that whatever was just Smash happening. The hostile. And then we'll put you in a parry. Are you done duel with Zephyr? I don't remember what this does because it still hasn't come back up. It, it popped up once, but then I forgot. Cool. Tougher than I expected. Dumbass. Someone shred that armor. I, I'm pretty sure Godmother's the one who's supposed to be shredding that armor. 100% chance of a stupid. It seems like these guys are just built to survive, though. Because he was able to resist the Berserk or something like that. Oh, he resists the puppets here the first time I used that ability. Uh, this is Crew Chief Yarvo. This is... This is the one we just talked to, isn't it? Because the other person was custodial. Cool. Man, just still satisfied with his kill of a teammate. I wonder if they recognize that they're killing a teammate uh, at that moment in time. Perry? No, okay. Another scar for my collection. Oh, is this the move? Yes, I think so. Who has the AP rounds? I thought Godmother did. Not what I wanted to see. Not the worst though, because she did just take her turn. Uh... Don't let it get infected. Damn, I wish we could see what their weapons had. Oh, poison rounds. Okay. Crew Chief Yarva. Who's next in the turn order? Crew Chief Yarva. Okay, so I don't have to feel bad about taking this shot over anything else. Let's take this shot then. Now he's poisoned, and we got a critical off on that too. We shredded some armor away. We basically want to get the effects to deal damage underneath the armor. So poisoning them, burning them, all those things seem to help. An increase in armor is not what we want to see right now. Especially with this other Praetorian out here. Another Losing bit of damage blood. on her too. A lot of blood. Um, they think you an appealing target. Then we're gonna use the overdrive serum on ourselves now. Increase that armor for her. No reason to use Reaper yet, I think. Who all can you reach right now? You won't die. You would die. So we're gonna use Reaper. Time for some snooker. I don't know what snooker is or snooker, however, however she pronounced it. it. Sounds a little offensive though. So you got Target Godmother free. Good. Good. And we're gonna go right back over to the number two. Come on. Hello? Hold on. Let me use two hands now. Oh, that's a re-click on cri cri crippling blow. Then yeah. Shattering. Another three damage. And they're still stunned. I think we were able to disorientate. So yeah, let's take them out. Another battle madness. 
on you now. You might turn and shoot uh, Yarvo, or you might turn and shoot the Faceless. I don't know. Either way. The Faceless hasn't taken any damage yet. Ooh, it's funny too, because I'm pretty sure the Legionnaire, or uh, Yarvo is that dude's boss, and he's telling him to stop interfering, which is wild. Let's try Puppeteer now. I think. Only a 50% chance. Ooh, there is a chance tied to it. Base chance of 50%. Ah, uh, so they have a high will out there, basically. Probably because I have uh, Yarvo in the network, and he's one of the leaders. Give me your mind. Low-key, Verge could be a tank. If you can get this going pretty well, everyone's in the neural network is getting four damage at the end of each turn. But I guess if everyone shoots at him, he won't uh, survive as well. Damn, I forgot God's middle is be open too. You can manage. You're stunned, but you gain you still gain the health back. Alright. Let's get over here. Damn, you don't have the shotgun that does running gun. I forgot to give you back your gun. Uh, oh well though, we realized it too late. It's still working out though. Plus I get to hear the normal shotgun again. Which I do appreciate. Not on yourself. You're pretty okay for damage. She's looking a little no. Alright. Thirty Dodge and takes an additional turn in three turns. One use permission. Alright, let's just take a shot with the shotgun. Whatever you shoot at is likely to die at this one. Number three is Chief Yaro. We can take him out. Yeah, let's take out the Chief. Before he has a chance to do anything else. The AP... Why did she reload? Hello? Am I confused? Did I do something? Well, I moved and shot. I don't know why she automatically reloaded, though. Maybe there was an update or something for the game that had that happen. This is going to poison whoever I shoot at. Then let's shoot at them to bring them closer to death. Everyone here is in his neural network, in Verge's neural network. So on my next turn, I'm probably going to use Mind Flare immediately. Course. What do we get on that? Not you. Weapon disabled. That's pretty good. Put you in another parry. I'm pretty sure he's only going to attack you, so that helps out. Yep. You were already dueling, I thought. And she's still it's kicking like the shit out start. of you. Yep, the same thing happened. Yeah. Um. What about now on Puppeteer? No, still how I will. Can you use Mind Flay? I can use Banish. Not Banish, Serial. But who all is low enough to possibly kill? I don't know if they're low enough to kill. How much damage do you do? Six to eight. How much damage does this thing have? Three, six. So yeah, we're gonna use Serial then. I'm gonna start off by shooting at you. Fire weapon, guaranteed kill. One less hostile. Next is the Legionnaire. The Legionnaire. And then finally, see, this is why I switched to this one. I definitely like this ability better. Um, what are, your weapon sets them on fire, so even if you don't kill here, you will start burning. Yep, and we got a critical too, and a shredded armor. So on that thing's next turn, it's dying either way. But this looks like we can just hit it with subdue and be fine anyways. Arresting oh the yeah, targets. this this is a long episode. Crew chief Yarvo is gone. Then that's it. Is that a threat? No, he was to pilot this vessel safely. Without him, City 31 will burn. What? How can we stop it? You can't from here. Get to the power core. If you shut it down, I can stop the excavator. Why are you helping us? Because the price of my passage will not be the death of your city. Whoa, so they've been trying to escape whole time and they're not actually that bad, it seems. Although, if that's the case, then who blew up Mayor Mail, Mail, Nightingale? If this arc launches, it'll take most of downtown with it. Oof. Look for exposed power cores. Shut them down at any cost. I've reached the excavator. I'll be ready. Can you order your compatriots to stand down? They wouldn't listen. They think they're already free. Eh, it's worth a try. 
Interesting. All right, all units entering here get 25% defense. First unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. Verge can run a whole floor without his weapon. Uh, the plus 25 for one round. I guess that would be useful, huh? Terminal. Which one does more health? Is everyone at this breach point? I think this gives more health. And then Zephyr has nothing left to do. Keypad door, keypad door. I guess it's weird that I took the one that offered a negative, but oh well. Anyone aggressive? An adder is aggressive and a paladin is aggressive. So I want to lift you. Take this adder out. Yep. And start spreading damage. Yeah. You're going to burn from this shot. Poison from this shot. And then we'll send Zephyr in. I don't know why she can only see one person, but whatever. I don't know what happened to that uh, Praetorian for her not to be able to see it. I don't know what just made that noise. I, I guess the faceless. Everything's hunkered down. Do you see the power cores? They're on a cycle. When they're exposed, destroy them. How many? Enough so I can open the excavator furnace without evaporating. Damn. We'll do all of them. All right, your weapon is disabled. We'll use stupor on number two. My mind over yours. Only once. Hopefully he doesn't do it, get up and do the uh, side disable or whatever it's called. And then number three, battle madness. You shrug it off? No, okay. It's funny how the, the Praetorian is this big ass dude using the littlest pistol. Side disable, yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna do this. I don't know really what that does yet though. What's that gonna increase the armor? Yeah. And then take a shot at Zephyr. Praetorians love to shoot at Zephyr. Still mobile. And they got a crush or something. Stay with us. How much damage does this thing need to take? I can cover it. All right. Another shot on Zephyr. Took a hit, but I still stand. We use cooperate on Zephyr too, because she should be close enough to make it all the way to that thing and hit it. Let's see. She can't actually. Who can she hit? You, you, or you. You can hit them from here. Smashing Might disable them or kill them. Not bad either. And then we'll get you. I don't want to get too close to that. But I also don't want to leave you exposed there. So I'll put you over here. And you can take a shot on... If you do a decent damage on them, then you might be able to put them in range of death. Ooh, no, never mind. They are kind of in death range though, but I'm pretty sure the poison is only gonna do two damage guaranteed. And I was right for not moving her up because she would have been standing right there. If, uh, that's where I left her. The phase probably would have just hopped that and swung. That's you on this thing. Does this blow up? Oh yeah, okay. She is getting the two health that she's supposed to be getting. I was just making sure of that. I thought about that between the, th these two things. Uh, parry. Interesting. Not complaining though. Are we gonna bind her? Yeah. Damn, we can't do much about that Let's right now either. Out. What the fuck is that? No more ammunition. Hello? Oh my god. 
we have anything down there? Puppets here. Dance. I cannot get through. To either of them? No, we got the dominator. So what does that mean now? That's the only thing you can do here, huh? That's pretty shitty. I guess we'll do it though. Ooh, I can definitely see how that move can be powerful though. Especially with people who have lower will than this thing. Our mother immediately gains bonus, creating dodge and takes additional turn in three turns. Alright, we'll use that now. This way she can take a shot on this thing, take it out, and then we can have her move into position to take out another one if it opens up. I don't know if there's uh, three or four. So she might be able to get in position for that one too. Shouldn't have come. I don't know who you're shooting at. It's not bad. They have, they're not in the best angle down in this pit to get at us. So we're pretty good overall. Can I... Can I use hail of bullets? No, I want to use pin down. Does this end turn? Maybe an enemy's turn. I think it does. Uh, we can use... Hey, I don't care. We use hail of bullets. Our pin down on you. Keep you down in the turn order so we don't have to worry about whatever you are for at least a little bit longer. You can take them out, I think, almost for sure. Or, I mean, they'll burn on their turn if you don't. Or poison on their turn if you don't. So hopefully the poison goes first. We're about to find that out now. You can't see the thing that we're supposed to be here to shoot at. Not unless you go over to here. We can then also use your turn to, um... To you get, uh, to get Zephyr out of that bind. They poison and heal it at the exact same time, so... They heal two and take that two damage. And they're going for Godmother. Well, I kind of expected this, though, because... They put her right next to it, pretty much. I was hoping for a miss. A graze isn't bad, though, actually. She gains 2 HP, but the bound is sustained, so she takes 2 damage immediately. That's fine. That means she's not taking damage from, what she, from what's occurring to her right now. I'll use... i use stupor on you. Your thoughts are mine. I didn't, I didn't see what number that just gave it. Is it a two times or one times, what I say? No. And then, shit, we can't see anything else from here. You subdue on you, actually. Hostile Take you all the way out. Now, what's going on with this puppeteer move right here? Because I'm not sure. They're still mind control. That's pretty good. Can use side disable. Dominic takes control of an enemy. Ooh. You need this mic. Okay, I guess I can't. That makes sense. I can't use any psionics while being mind controlled. But this mind control ability is pretty useful. Yeah, we pretty much stole that dude for his whole turn. Or for two turns, actually, right? Uh. Well, I thought I was finna. I thought another sector was finna pop out or something. Oh. Okay, so um, I don't know why it's legs had to grow for that to happen. A wrath cannon? Um, looks like a dick too. That just breaks cover, doesn't it? Because I'm gonna move these two right the fuck out the way. Does this mean if I move, I'm getting shot? I can't, I don't know. I'm scared, shit. Uh, 
it, it didn't tell me what it did. Hold up, let me check. I need to know this. Android assembly. Supply unrest unlocked. Fuck. I mean, bleeding out breaching encounters. It's probably not gonna tell me what this is exactly either though. Points turn order encounter in healing environment and mental miscellaneous. No, mental. No. 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 Well, guess we'll figure this out like right now. This shit better not be a one shot. Damn, that looks so f like this just looks futile. Like there's nothing I can do there. Uh, we'll use uh, we'll use team up on Verge though. That way you can move him out of the way, cause I feel like this is gonna go straight through at that diagonal diagonal angle. And we're just gonna shoot, cause I feel like if we move, we're gonna get shot for sure. No Did that do no damage? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, you can get over here. Actually, I should have just used subdue, but I feel like that's still in range also. And then use uh, stupor. My mind over yours. Two? Cool. Take a shot on them. We should give Zephyr her turn. Yeah, I guess it depends on the size of the characters. Although I only ask him as the one one that's bigger. Not unless they'll do it for Claymore too, because he's pretty large as well. I guess the free reload just automatically does it now, which makes sense, I guess. I don't know. Crippling blow. 100% chance. We might be able to uh, get a disorientate or something. I meant to say stunned. I wanted to stun, not disorientate. Um, okay, let's see. We'll put you in parry now. And I guess we're going to see what this thing does. That's pretty good. Another four damage on him. It might miss because of this be disorientate. I guess it doesn't matter because we got the uh, block off. Damn. That's not bad though. Hello? Oh shit. She did just take someone out. Damn, this thing would be a bitch if my team wasn't ready for it like this. Cooperate on Godmother. And you can use ventilate. Not on you. You got enough health. On you. I can't even see this thing's health bar. Don't get a retaliator retaliatory shot. Alright, cool. Uh do we have a reload? Fuck we do. Can I use some do on it? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking shitty. Oops. Whatever. <laughs> All right. They think you an appealing target. I think this should deal damage to everything, right? Yeah. Clear the board. That's enough. I'm opening the furnace. Then what? The excavator shuts down. My compatriots surrender when they realize they are trapped on this prison planet. I don't know if we can put in a good word for you after all this, but... It won't matter once I enter the furnace. For me, this is a one-way trip. Oh. 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 Today, we did not fly as slaves. So I guess they feel like they're enslaved here on Earth. I don't know. Uh, they thought we'd lost... Uh, I thought we'd lost you in there. For what it's worth, I'm glad none of you were shot into deep space. Head back to base. You've earned a well-deserved night off. I don't know if I'm supposed to have been reading that. Those all the time. I, this is the first time I noticed them, so... Uh, we'll see. All right, Mills, you, oh, cool, Phoenix down. Uh, you, you want to remain in the detention camp, Zell? Yes, Mills, you, your empathy rating is in the first per percentile, Zell. Then you understand why I must stay with people who you will not allow to leave. Mills, I'm sorry, but it's done. You have 72 hours to say goodbye, Zell. Do you think I won't cause trouble by then? Make you keep me here? 
Milos, no, I think you realize the example you can lead from outside these walls. Uh, Zell, perhaps. Interview with the detainees since identified as custodian Zell. I thought Zell just died, didn't she? Oh, well. Uh, continue. Not unless that's before. Good work, Chimera Squad. Your quick thinking prevented significant damage to City 31. And yet, Grey Phoenix was not trying to flee to the Elders. They wanted to go home. Or find a new place to call home. How they went about it cannot be excused. But I will advise XCOM HQ to consider this development. So then who did it? Okay. Look, Roger, I don't have much to say about Grey Phoenix. The whole situation hits too close to home. They could have caused so much destruction in the middle of our city. Wanting to find one's home should not be a crime. Mass devastation is definitely a crime. Why didn't they ask for help? Would anyone hand a starship over to aliens who said they just wanted to leave? Probably not, Corgo. Probably not. 